Is the birth control pill causing your adrenal fatigue? Hi, I'm Dr. Jolene Brighton, and today I want to chat with you about two big ways the birth control pill can actually be impacting your adrenals. So adrenal fatigue, or what's known as HPA dysregulation, which is how your brain and your adrenal glands should be talking, but in what's commonly known as adrenal fatigue, they ain't talking so well. So how can the birth control pill be resulting in your adrenals misfiring cortisol, causing your fatigue, inability to get out of bed in the morning, insomnia, joint pain, and all of those lovely symptoms that go along with adrenal fatigue? Well, there's two things going on with the birth control pill. One is that big bolus of estrogen is really inflammatory. So when you take the birth control pill, it actually causes inflammation in the body. And your adrenal glands, being super smart and putting out cortisol, help suppress that inflammation because too much inflammation is a bad thing for the body. So the adrenal glands release cortisol in an attempt to squash that inflammation. The problem is, is that daily dose of pill is a little bit too much for those adrenal glands to hang with over a long period of time. In addition to that, the birth control pill raises a protein called cortisol binding globulin, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It's a protein that grabs onto cortisol. So now we've got misfiring in how the brain is speaking to the adrenal glands, and this is well documented in the research, that there is some impact on how the brain and adrenal glands talk while a woman is on the pill. Now, research hasn't gone far enough to explore what's the total impact on the adrenal glands, but we know that there is an effect. So, pills disrupting adrenal uh, function, but even if those adrenal glands are able to put out cortisol to squash that inflammation fire, the pill is also raising a protein that grabs onto that cortisol and keeps you from being able to use it. The mechanism goes like this. The brain tells the adrenal glands, we've got inflammation, please put out cortisol. The adrenals respond by pushing out that cortisol, but that cortisol binding globulin grabs it so that it can't do its work. Then the inflammation grows further, you increase that, you take that second dose of estrogen, the next day the inflammation goes up even further, and over time the brain and the adrenal glands stop talking in a way that's effective for your body. So those are the two big ways that the birth control pill can actually contribute to adrenal fatigue. If you're a woman who's experiencing symptoms of HPA dysregulation, aka adrenal fatigue, I definitely recommend getting appropriate lab testing as soon as possible. That is looking at your cortisol levels, whether it be saliva, or in my practice, we run what's called the Dutch Complete, where we're looking at all of the sex hormones, what you're doing with them, and then what those adrenals are doing in terms of cortisol and cortisone production. So again, if you think you have adrenal fatigue and you've been on the pill, find an expert in post-birth control syndrome that you can partner with so that you can recover your health and you can take back your vitality and be able to experience life at its fullest.